Keychain with a key and a tag that reads 1F02, and a wooden dog pendant with a crown. This probably wasn't prepared for me. A keychain with a key and a tag that reads 2F02, and a clown pendant. The lower half of the pendant looks like it has been corroded by something. This probably wasn't prepared for me. I think this is for me. Who's there? It's me. Violetta. Been a while, Mr. Morton. Violetta, what are you doing here? I'm flattered that the host would invite me. I'm honored to be a part of the performance. Performance? Yes, that's right. The host left us a playbill. Perhaps we can prepare together. Five children go to the park. They arrive excited, but leave with long faces. This is really interesting, Violetta. But you see, it's already very late. Of course, of course. Tomorrow, perhaps? Violetta, this play needs at least five actors. They will come. Someone will come. Why don't we wait until everyone is here? I plan on taking a look around this house tomorrow. After all, we've never lived in such a huge mansion before now, have we? That's true, but Mr. Morton, I... It's Mike. You can call me Mike. If you're not interested in taking the tour, why not pick a role and practice first? The last child would suit you well. All right, of course. There is a role I like. That's great, Violetta. Good night. It was good to see you. Uh, Mr. Morton? Good night, Mr. Morton. I mean, my... Excuse me, is anyone here? <sighs> I think this is... Me, Vi Violetta, the actress, Violetta. Were you also invited to perform, Violetta? Yes, yes, I was also invited to act in the play. They want to ride the roller coaster, but there are only four seats. Is this for the play the host wishes us to perform? Yes, yes, I was just getting familiar with the parts. Oh. Huh. This looks like just a folk rhyme. If it's to become a real play, we'll need to adapt it. All right. Oh, it's such an honor, Natalie. I'm so happy. Has someone not arrived yet? Yes, there's still one person left. Everyone else is here. 
Everyone else? What did you say, Natalie? Uh, it's nothing. Just making a mental note. Let me think about how we can arrange all this. Good night, Violetta. By the way, Violetta, I'm now called Margarita. If you wouldn't mind. All right, Margarita. Good night. Margarita. Such a beautiful name. As beautiful as Natalie. A dressing mirror made of mahogany. <laughs> the material doesn't seem as fine as the other furniture in this manner. The faint scent of Lily of the Valley. <sighs> A comforting fragrance. Smell of trees roasting in the sun. Oh, a damp smell. I don't really like it. This is quite nice. I like this scent. Perhaps it will help me sleep well. Don't you, Natalie? <laughs> Natalie! Don't be afraid. I won't hurt you. Get away from me, you demon! Stay away! What is Serky doing here? Oh, of, of course he's here. None of us can escape. No, 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 no. Stop thinking about it, Natalie. <sighs> what happened 
to me yesterday. I must have gone mad. Sergey will kill me. No, 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 Natalie. Just, just a piece, Sergey, one more time. He might go mad. But he also might forgive me. Like before. He still loves you, doesn't he? You also. No, Margarita. You will complete this performance. Get your pay and then run away. You're already quite adept at that, aren't you? This mansion is more interesting than I imagined. See? I told you most people might miss this performance, but not our superstar Natalie. Oh no, it's Margaretha now, isn't it? <gasps> Running off again, Natalie? That's all over now, Morton. Move on like the rest of us. Stop clinging to the past. No. It won't ever end, you shameful liars. Deserters! You murderers! Madman. Huh. Same as ever, Joker. Always lurking in the shadows. Tiny daisy, wilting. Tattered hat. A worn brown vest showing some scuff marks. Cuffs with traces of wood shavings. You shouldn't speak to her like that. She doesn't deserve it. Oh? <laughs> what then? A charlatan? A deserter? Or perhaps... She's none of those! And what of you? I... I was sent out by Sergei that day for procurement. Even though it was a significant day, and my presence was not needed there. I'm frozen to the bone. Ah, this stupid weather. Tangled hair with snowflakes, and fallen leaves caught within. A long, untrimmed beard. An old-fashioned suit that doesn't quite fit. Covered in snow and mud. Moreau? Good heavens! It's splendid to see you again! Mike! I'm happy to see you too! Did you also receive an invitation? Sort of. Is the snow heavy outside? Uh, it's not good, I'm afraid. We best stay here until the snow eases up. That might be problematic. I've just checked the kitchen, and there isn't much food in there. Sir? Uh, oh no, Joker. I barely recognize you. It, it's been so long. It has been a while, Muro. Don't fret. We've been reunited here. And that's good fortune enough. <laughs> well, how's everyone? It's nearly lunchtime. 
I, I should prepare something in the kitchen. Mike? What's happened? Did I say something wrong? I've been away for a while. Moon River Massacre. That's what they called that day. A lunatic. Slaughtered everyone. Everyone! Did I frighten you, Merle? I was frightened too. Does that not prove my performance was utterly convincing? Just like the actors in the theater, I've watched their rehearsals, you know. The one playing the madman in a black robe, he was so... Enough, Violetta! All right, all right. I'll say no more. I'll leave now. It's too dreadful. That madman. Too dreadful. Mike. I'm sorry, I'll Violetta. No Mike is just now. a little unsettled. I hope you're not frightened. Maybe you could see if Joker needs help. It's nearly lunchtime, and it's warmer inside than out here. I'm sorry, Mike. I, I, I didn't know. It's all right. I'm fine, Morel. You should go check as well. After all, it's likely no one here knows how to survive in such harsh conditions better than you. These people are as crude and noisy as ever. that too. Come now, Natalie. Dance for me. For us, to our favorite piece of music. Did you just call him? Serg... Sergi? <laughs> Sergi... Joker? It's me, Joker. Don't come any closer! What's wrong? Uh, are you alright, Natalie? Relax, Natalie. Sergey isn't here. Violet Violetta was mistaken. She's just not very familiar with them both. Yes, yes. It's my fault. Sorry, it's my fault. I misspoke. I won't say it again. 
sorry, Natalie. It seems I'm somewhat tired. I need to find something to eat in the kitchen. Then the rest of it. Oh, yes. It's lunchtime. Joker and I have prepared lunch in the kitchen. Let's go to the dining room. That's right, Natalie. That's right. I've even made your favorite dish. <sighs> Sorry, Violetta. I'm just a bit out of sorts. Let's go have lunch. Then we can discuss the performance afterward. That would be wonderful, Natalie. I, I mean, Margarita. Those bears were not to be trifled with. But luckily, I had my companions. Oh, speaking of which, I should head to the woods with my companions to find some food when the snow eases up a bit. I can also help chop some firewood to keep us warm. <laughs> That's right! I almost forgot! Back in the day, you, me, and Mike helped Bernard fix his tent, and you were the only one who knew how to use that damn saw! <laughs> Uh, speaking of which, uh, we might need to find some tools first. I had a look this morning. The trees in the forest are quite thick. Do you still remember how to use it, Joker? Right. Since leaving Hullabaloo, I've been performing with wandering troops and doing the hard carpentry job to make ends meet. <laughs> Jolly good. And what about you, Natalie? What have you been up to lately? I just heard Violetta say you changed jobs? Yes. I'm working with a theater troupe. A new identity! Suitable for a fresh start, indeed. <laughs> just like what I'm about to embark on. What's wrong, Mike? You've been silent for a while now. Mike? This is just awful. Has anyone seen that playbill? I think I've lost it. No, thank goodness you found it. Oh, thank you, Mike. Where did you find it? Uh, perhaps we can... I found it in the living room just now. And I found more than just that. What is this? Another nursery rhyme? I think I've heard it somewhere before. Actually, it's an old nursery rhyme. The kind Sergei liked. But here, it must be a clue. What kind of clue? Who was it that killed everyone and then ran away? What are you talking about, Mike? You're not going to start with that old spiel again, are you? Quiet, you. Why are you here, Zell? What reward did the organizer promise you? Money? A leading role? You're not going to say we came here for a performance, are you? But my reward. I need an answer. The name of the person who destroyed our home. This clue tells us that the murderer who killed everyone is among those who got away. And clearly, someone doesn't want us to know who it was. You madman. My
Mike Morton, you're still that same madman. Stop right there, Zell. Perhaps today, we should each give our own account of what really happened on that day. I've already told the investigators everything I know. The man in black who entered the tent? <laughs> Is it even possible to fabricate a leakier lie than that? So you suspect me, do you? Everyone knows I was preparing for the performance at the time. I couldn't possibly be the murderer. So I have no reason to lie to anyone. Not even to you. <laughs> but you hated that place. You hated... <laughs> we all hated that place, Mike Morton. All of us but you. Natalie. And what did you think, Morel? What, did I hate that place? Uh, no, no, I mean this playbill. Hey, Violetta. I don't know anything. I just want to perform with everyone. I don't know anything. All right, Violetta, all right. Don't be afraid. I apologize for my rudeness earlier. But for us to give the best performance possible, could you answer a few questions for me? After all, you see, we can't perform an incomplete script. Perform? Of course. We need to perform. What do you need to know, Mike? Where did you first find this playbill? I found it on the table by the keys. Was this the only one? Yes, yes, it was in the middle of the table at that time. When did you arrive? Yesterday afternoon. Were you the first to arrive? I think so. First, it was me, then you, then Serg, Mr. Joker, then Margarita. I was last. I arrived at dawn. Uh, only uh, one key was left on the table then? Uh, I thought you arrived before noon. Oh no, I arrived at dawn. Then I went to tend to my companions. Any questions, Mike? If not, if not, I'd like to go and prepare for the performance. All right, Violetta, you go ahead. Perhaps we can start arranging the performance tomorrow. Uh, wonderful. Tomorrow, I can practice a little more on my own now. Do you believe what she said, Moreau? Of course, Mike. This is Violetta we're talking about. If what she says is true, then it means we're without a single clue now. Mike, have you stopped to wonder what Violetta's playbill means if the missing one is the clue to the murderer? Perhaps the murderer knows. Forget everything and gain new life. Who's there? Oh, sir, you're finally here. Are we going to rehearse now? Has everyone arrived? Very well, sir.
my god. What's going on? What happened to Violetta? Mike, go and get more blankets. I don't know, Natalie. My companion found her in the woods of the West Wing. If my companion didn't keep her warm, she might have died from hypothermia. Drenched clothes. Skin turned purple. Even serration where the prosthesis were severed. Her prosthesis! Mike and I think they were sawed off. Muro, get up here! I'll see what he needs. Please look after her, Natalie. <sighs> I can also help chop some firewood to keep us warm. You're the only one who knows how to use that damn saw. Huh, this is... I found this when I got up here. The door to my room was slightly ajar, but I distinctly remember it was closed when I left. A faint smell of grease up close. Damp water stains? brown wood shavings, and some unidentified silver fragments. Who do you think it was? Oh, so it's in here. I've been looking all over for my saw. Mike, do you still need it? Is this yours? Uh, yes, I... What are you doing? Violetta is... Oh, good morning, Natalie. I was looking for my saw. Turns out Mike has it. You said something about Violetta. How is she? Uh, she is awake. The fifth child. It must have been the son. Oh no. I forgot. Violetta. Are you okay, Violetta? Uh, Natalie! Natalie, we don't have much time. Let's begin our rehearsal now. Violetta, what happened? Mike, oh clever Mike. I will remember, so long as we are rehearsed. Violetta, who did this to you? Do you remember? Remember, I will remember. Just give me some time. And I Calm will down, remember. Mike. Violetta needs to rest right now. Her hypothermia is too severe. I'll be here to take care of her. We'll talk when she wakes up and feels better, okay? Goodness, it's still here. 
Violetta, why were you outside on such a cold day? And who? I was rehearsing. I haven't performed in so long. Mr. said... Mr.? The Mr. in black. Tomorrow, where are the others? I'm ready. We can begin rehearsals today. I'm ready and will not make mistakes again. <laughs> sure, Violetta. Why don't you rest for a while? When the others are rehearsed and everything is ready, I will come and wake you up. Don't worry, Violetta. Okay. I'm a bit tired. Need to rest. It seems that Violetta really wants to finish the performance. Perhaps I should help her fulfill this wish. For her? This winter is too long. Muro, how is Violetta? She woke up for a while, but now she's out again. Did she say? She wasn't fully conscious, and only mumbled something about a Mr. in Black. In Black? Mr. What's going on, Mike? That night at Moon River, Zell also mentioned a person in Black going into the large tent. You think they're the same person? Do you consider Zell an honest person, Muro? But we all know, Mike, that... She isn't a talented actor, at least not in the eyes of most people. And she doesn't have a reason to lie. Then how come she survived? That culprit did not let Violetta go, yet they let her go. Obviously, she knows more than she lets on. That is suspicious. And it seems like the culprit didn't want Violetta to live, yet... They also didn't want to be the one killing her. Speaking of actors, Mike, have you thought about what would happen if the performance were to happen according to the host's plan? Perhaps we may find what we're looking for. You mean finishing the performance? I need to think about it. Okay. I'll also talk to Margarita and Joker. I'll check on Violetta. Muro, is it your wish to finish the performance? Uh, I suppose. <laughs> Muro, they are actually wrong. You and Bernard are quite alike. At least the Bernard I remember. Natalie, are you looking for me? Natalie and Joker? I can't make out their conversation. I want to know what they're talking about, but it's best that they don't find out. I'm eavesdropping. Right. They are indeed a threat. But it was not my fault, Joker. Wait. Why won't you believe that it was just a performance? Don't forget, Natalie. It was also a performance that... That turned into a disaster in the end. But you're free now, are you not, Natalie? That is temporary. Just until Sergei comes back. This is why I've come to this horrible place. Natalie, listen to me. Joker, both of us need to think about this. Okay, I will take it. Have a good rest, Natalie.
Natalie, are you there? It's me, Murrow. I want to talk to you about... Violetta. Murrow? How was Violetta? There are green circles around her eyes. She looks exhausted. An odd scent that smells like trees roasting in the sun. An old music box. Three bottles of perfume that look quite valuable. Her condition is pretty bad. She woke up and wished to finish the performance. I think if we tell her that we are willing to perform with her, she'll be happier. I need to think about it, Moreau. Okay. Please come and find me downstairs once you have reached a conclusion. I hope it will not take too long. Joker, are you there? It's me, Murrow. I want to talk to you about Violetta and... Murrow? How is Violetta? Is she awake? Yes. She wishes that we can finish the performance together. Uh, the others... I mean, what did Natalie say? She said she needed to think about it. Okay, I, I will do it if she agrees to do it. And Mike as well. After all, we need four actors for the performance, do we not? Mike, you made dinner? Oh, Moreau. Yes, Violetta hasn't woken up. I've made something to eat in case something worse happens. Hmm. I have wandered in the wild for a long time. That's why I know what hypothermia will do to the body. Moreau, I will finish the performance, for Violetta's sake. That's great, Mike. Violetta will be thrilled when she hears that. What about Zell and Joker? How did your discussion with them go? Mm, they said they needed to think about it, but I think they will agree to do it. Mura, do you believe that was just a performance? Uh, I suppose... Think about what is written on it, Natalie. The performance has begun, but can only be finished when the conditions are fulfilled. Five children. Four seats. The first child. 
second child. You're saying that... Well, calm down, Natalie. That is in the past. Just listen to me. The third child? The fourth child. The fifth child. That's the last condition to be fulfilled. Natalie? Are you still awake? It's me, Joker. I read your letter. Damn it. That letter. I apologize, Natalie. I should not have argued with you this afternoon. You're not looking well. Are you... Having trouble falling asleep again? This place makes me nervous, Joker. Perhaps I can keep you company. I, I mean, just like before, I'll sit here and wait for you to fall asleep, then I'll leave. This perfume has become very popular in town. Rumor has it that it has a calming effect, which is a luxury I can't normally afford, since there are very few nice things around here. There are even better things awaiting us, Natalie, once things end here. Joker, please believe me just this once. Let us finish the performance, and then leave this place. I need you, Joker. As you know, Natalie, I have always believed you. Good night, Joker. Good night, Natalie.
everyone's waiting for you, Violetta. I am so happy for you, Violetta. <laughs> Finally stopped. It is time to end this. Violetta! corners of her mouth tilt upward, as if she is happily asleep. There is no breathing. A familiar scent fills the air. The smell of trees roasting in the sun. How come Violetta? I don't know. I passed out last night. When I woke up this morning, Violetta was gone. I looked for her everywhere and then... Oh, you are all here. Violetta? What happened to her? She... Oh my... Oh no! Poor Violetta! What a poor Violetta! The fifth child fainted! It must be the son! The fifth child. That's the last condition to be fulfilled. Natalie, the warm up act should wrap it up now. What a poor Violetta! of trees roasting in the sun the final performance will take place at 9 p.m. in three days follow the light of the fire to the stage those who complete the performance before midnight will receive everything they desire it's my fault I should have kept an eye on her Hypothermia often leads to hallucinations. I should have kept an eye on her. Morale. <sighs> For now, I will place Violetta in the basement by the forest. The low temperature there will help slow down the decomposition process. Once the snow melts, I will arrange for a proper burial. Exit. Then going forward, are we continuing with this? I 
should have known this is the place. Why don't we split up and check the place out? Hopefully the circuit box is still working. No one can perform in the dark. Sure, I'll go with Natalie. I'll head over to the roller coaster and check it out. I will head over to the haunted house and check it out. I should look for clues about the exit first. Nothing meaningful here. Natalie? What are you looking for? I remember there was a controller at the riverbank. The riverbank? Perhaps the so called exit does not refer to this place. This is... A riddle? This is a clue. <sighs> That's not right. Still not right. <laughs> I think it's Mike. He must have solved the riddle. This sounds like his story. He has always liked flames and stars since he was a child. Then we should hurry. Is this Muro? Yes, I, I know it is. Muro has always liked to act like a hero, hasn't he? Joker, what about you? You should have received your story as well, in addition to the invitation. This is... Joker. Perhaps you should see how the two of them are doing. We're right, Joker. They are allies. And that poses a danger to us. <laughs> you remember, right? Only those who complete the performance before midnight. Okay then, Natalie. Call me if you run into trouble.
Natalie, you solved the riddle as well? That's awesome! Murrow said the rehearsal was about to begin. Mike asked if we could go to the Hullabaloo Theater. Mike? Murrow? Where are you? That's odd. They were just here. A pretty lady, beautiful Natasha. My dear, how are you? You have no idea how much I missed you. Sergei. No, that is not Sergei. That is not the real Sergei. So you're here as well, Joker. You disgusting fraud. Do you think you can replace me by wearing my makeup? <laughs> this joke is so much funnier than your horrible face. <laughs> Shut up! Shut up! You are the fraud! It is impossible for Sergei to be here! Why is it impossible? I am the Sor of Hullabaloo, Natalie's favorite leading man! Unless I am dead, I will never be absent! Shut up, you fraudster! Sergei is long dead! He died that day! How are you so sure that Sergei is dead? Joker, I thought you said you never went back after that day! I, I saw... No, I, I asked the police. That's right. I, I asked the police. They, they told me. <laughs> the truth is, due to a tiny mistake on the part of my friend, the police still think Sergei is alive to this day. Joker, only one person knows the secret of Sergei's death. <laughs> Joker, you are the one who told me that everyone has a story, and this is your story, Joker. Joker, do you get it now? I put this game together, and this is the reward from the game. Each person's secret is being a liar, a deserter, a murderer. Shut up! Shut up, all of you. 
You have no idea. You have absolutely no idea! Especially you! You shiny and stupid dog, Mike Morden! Stop kidding around! You think Hullabaloo is such a good place? Have you seen the others? Bro. Natalie! Oh, right. Violetta as well. And me. We all hate it here, except for you! You're lying! Oh, shut up! You have absolutely no idea! <laughs> You've always shown Brighton had so much fun on this stage. Of course you have no idea. I'm... And you... Forever a liar. You were a liar in the past and you're one right now. Is locked. Not for Natalie, but an exit exclusive to Margarita. There's no outrunning me. Come over here. <laughs> Natalie, what are you trying to do? Do you want to freeze to death as well? Come over here. I won't hurt you. I will not hurt you. Going back. Natalie!
What do you think, Merle? The river is flowing too fast. What are we gonna do about Joker? Hand him over to the police? I need to think about it, Moro. But before that, we need to figure out how to get out of here. Perhaps we can look around for other cipher machines. When I was at the merry-go-round, I saw a cipher machine that had not been decoded. There were words written on it as well, in various colors. We have no more clues. Then again, we can check it out first. were about each of us, then can this be about all of us? Uh, I have no idea, Mike. You know I'm not good at this. About all of us. Hullabaloo! Get us open, Mike. <laughs> Thank goodness, Moreau. We'll take Joker with us and get out of here first. <laughs> What's wrong, Mike? It's nothing, Moreau. I'm still thinking about what we should do about Joker. Huh? 
Where is he? Did he get away? Uneven cuts, as if broken by a blunt instrument. Some blood stains. A crinkled note. A cracked splinter of a music box. Huh? Can it be? I don't think so, Moro. Anyway, let's get out of here first. Hmm. <sighs> what if you go first? I want to stay for a while longer. Okay, Mike. Try not to think about what Joker said. That wasn't your fault. But do you think he was right, Muro? All of you hated it here. Except for me. Enough, Muro. Go and look for your companion. They should be waiting for you anxiously at the door. See you later. He belongs with those animals. <laughs> huh. Is this the hullabaloo after the curtain call? Hey, partner. Go find Mike and see if he's okay, will ya? But don't stir up him, okay? 